What's up, guys? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesday zine. This one's going to be tough, but this is what we do. So everybody's going to start with the bench press, all right? And preferably, it's up to you. You can use the bench. If you want more circumference in your chest and thickness, get a bench because you get a little bit more range of motion. If you want to focus on your triceps and a little chest, I will, make I will recommend that you use the floor, floor press. But the way this works out, we're going to do an every minute of the minute. We're going to weigh up to 12 minutes, which will be a total of four rounds. Once we start the three, two, one, the very first minute is going to be bench press. So taking it from your rack position, elbows are going to be tucked in, tight stomach, big deep breath. You're going to be doing a total of eight reps. Your goal is to get weight during your warm-up area. That's going to challenge you, but it's not too heavy, but it's not way too light. You're going to do a total of eight reps whenever you finish. For the remainder of the time, you will recover and rest. So if you finish at the 40-second mark, you'll have 20 seconds to get to the next exercise, which will be hand-release push-ups. you got to double your count. You're going to be doing a total of 16. So once the second minute start, push-up position, whether you're on your knees or not, is up to you, but you control your body weight down, take your hands off, and then power up. That's one. Down with control, power up. It's two. But especially my fellas or ladies that really want to challenge themselves, squeeze your quadriceps real tight with your glutes. Never let your knees hit the ground. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging. You would do that till you get to a total of 16 reps. <laughs> Whenever you finish, you will recover for the rest of the minute, and then for the third interval of the EMOM, you will rest for the whole minute. So every minute of the minute, working your way up to 12 minutes, which will be a total of four uh, rounds. Then is a transition, which means we're going to go right into the second segment. And it's push and pull Tuesday. So since we worked the chest and triceps, it's now time to work the back. So first move I want to talk about is the pull-up. Now, look, some of you are continuing to get stronger and better. Some of you are able to do a pull-up without any assistance, right? So shoulder pinch back, tight stomach, hands on top of the bar. You better be able to control your weight up and down. Now, if anybody can put an additional weight and challenge yourself, feel fine. Tuck a dumbbell underneath. Yep, your jewels. I know. And do the same exact thing to challenge yourself. But you'll be doing a total of eight reps, rest for the remainder of the time. If you're not there, your coach will show you how to use ring rows or resistance band or uh, inverted row. Plenty of options to get eight reps. Once you finish, the second movement will be dumbbell bent over flies. Um, is it flies or rows? Yeah, flies. So shoulders pinch back, tight stomach. As we hinge at the hips, you let your elbows lead the way, pinching those lats together, controlling, pinching those lats together until you get to 16 reps. Once you finish, you will rest for the remainder of the time. The third one, you guessed it. It's going to be rest for the whole minute. You repeat that continuously for four rounds until we work our way up to every minute of the minute to 12 minutes. As we transition to the third and final segment, it's just going to be a 12-minute AMRAP. On this 12-minute AMRAP, everybody starts with the jump rope. If you're going to be doing double unders, flick of the wrist, you'll be doing a total of 40 double unders every two minutes. So when your coach say results or grab that rope or jump rope time, you always knock out a total of 40 double unders. If you're not at the double unders yet, that's cool. Grab a regular jump rope or any jump rope and do singles <laughs> until you get to 60 every two minutes, all right? But once you finish your jump rope, you're going to immediately go into, I know, I hate to say it, dumbbell burpees. This is not supposed to be a really explosive movement because you have weight, right? So shoulders pinched back. As you go down to the ground, controlling your weight, you can jump out or walk it out like I did. Walk it up with a little jump. Or if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, jump out and then jump in. You would do that continuously, but every two minutes, remember, you got that 40 double under or 60 singles. That part's going to be really intense. As you can see, once the clock starts on this workout, it doesn't stop. It's push and pull Tuesdays. Let's take the back fat off, take the jiggles away. That's how we get down. Can't wait to see you guys later. Take care.